It is 4:18. Here's a live look out at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. You see the pagoda there. You're going to be seeing a lot more of the speedway in the coming days. For good reason. We're just 23 days away from the 106th running of the Indianapolis 500, and there have been lots of events, of course, as we kicked off the month of May. We've got some big ones this weekend too: mm -hmm. the Indy Mini and or the Mini Marathon, and then the. Um, uh, the Rev on Saturday Rev night. We've got Saturday. all kinds yep. of stuff going on, Marcus. And, and weather's going to play a little bit of a role, Kylie. I think kind of half and half for your Saturday. If you're going to be running in the mini, we've talked about maybe a few sprinkles here and there, light showers, but I think you're going to be able to get through the race fine. It may not be the most pleasant, but it's not going to be awful. And then I do think it's better for Rev Saturday night. And, of course, Mother's Day coming up on Sunday as well also looks pretty good. Uh, unfortunately, Friday, not Great. All right. 57 right now. It's just cloudy at the airport. We do have some rain in the neighborhood, just a very light east wind. You look at some cameras from around central Indiana, though, pretty wet. Carmel, Greenfield especially, you can see it's pretty damp there. U Indy, West Lafayette, Martinsville. Uh, some areas are seeing some light showers, others not. Mid to upper 50s is where we stand now, so temperatures are actually in pretty good shape. But we flip over to Storm Tracker, and you can see a lot of rain. Not real heavy rain, but basically from I-70 and Point South, we're locked in with some of these showers that are riding through. This is all because of a warm front that's kind of camping out right along the Ohio River. And so you've got this kind of first wave of rain, but this low in itself is going to continue to move eastward. And so that's going to spin up the atmosphere just enough to kind of squeeze out more rain and thunderstorm chances as we go throughout the day. There is an outside shot that we could have a strong storm or two. There's a marginal risk, so a low end threat for severe storms, basically along and south of I-70. Damaging wind, maybe some large hail, the primary concern. Again, I'm not expecting widespread severe weather here through the afternoon, but any point during the day, we're going to have rain chances. Future castles, we take you hour by hour from now through 9 o'clock. Again, another wave of rain moving through. That's going to continue through around lunchtime on and off showers and thunderstorms 3 o'clock. Again, notice the coverage. It's not completely widespread. It's going to be hit and miss. But good opportunities throughout the day that we're going to be dealing with rain. When it's not raining, it'll be awfully cloudy for you uh, today. We're going to keep with those rain chances even through around midnight tonight. You see the kind of circulation above. That's going to be that low just kind of hanging out. 6 a.m., yeah, some light showers are going to be around. I don't think it rains the entire time, but I do think at times it could be a bit misty if you're going to be running in the mini tomorrow morning. By noon, though, I think we are starting to wrap up any rain chances by later in the afternoon the clouds will start to break. Could see another half an inch to an inch of rainfall when it's all said and done. Some locally heavier amounts could be possible if you get under a few thunderstorms later today. We should finish with highs in the upper 60s, a little bit closer to average. Numbers in the low and mid-50s for the mini marathon tomorrow. And again, maybe some very, very light shower chances. I don't think we're going to be dealing with heavy rain. We're not going to be dealing with thunderstorms. And we do finish a little bit better for your Saturday afternoon. Uh, we'll be dry and highs into the mid-60s. Mother's Day looks so much better. Dry, not as windy, lots of sunshine, milder temperatures will be into the lower 70s and even warmer in the next week. Several opportunities for 80s on the way. In fact, by midweek, we could see many areas touching 90 degrees, believe it or not, next week. Added bonus to that because it's been so active this week, the 6 to 10 day precipitation outlook calling for below normal precipitation. What does that mean? After tomorrow morning, I don't have any more rain chances to talk about in this Peter and Brothers heating and cooling eight day forecast. Look at all the sunny icons. Boy, next week looks awesome. Again, we mentioned Mother's Day 72, those low to mid 80s for Monday and Tuesday, nearing 90 on Wednesday and still holding into the low 80s for Thursday and Friday of next week. Marcus, thank you. It is 422 now.